everybody. For today's video, I thought we would go ahead and take a look at some of the current trending keywords on Redbubble. As always, I'm using the website called Bubble Trends. Uh, it's a free tool to use. All you have to do is sign up with your email and then you can go ahead and take a look at current trending tags. Alright, so let's get on into it. All right, definitely want to stay away from names for copyright issues. Watermelon, that sounds like a, someone saying watermelon, but with a British accent. That could maybe be an interesting one to look into. Not in your little book club. Suppose that could be an interesting one. Uh, if there's enough demand, that could be a good one to design for since there's such low competition at only 236 other competitive designs. You hear the music, but you feel the bass. That could also be good, not much competition at all. But there are plenty of music lovers and instrument players out there, so that could be a good one to go for. Quadratic formula? I don't know how popular that one would be, but it doesn't have much competition. So maybe one to investigate a bit more. DeSantis land. I suppose if you're into the political niche, that could be one to look into. Ah, right now, all I want to do is graduate. That could be a really good one since graduation season comes around for all different grade levels every year. So, of course, you could have uh, this one tag, but then specify different grade levels and bam, you'd have tons of designs right there with just swapping out a couple of letters. Let's see, summertime render could could work, maybe. Everything I want to do is illegal. Humorous, maybe, I suppose someone might buy that on a t-shirt. Zomboy, that's a pretty funny play on words there could be one to go for happy last day of school hello summer students and teachers that could be a good one for the teaching niche it's not too bad you know with competition at just over 500 results and for this one you could do a couple versions one with just text and one with some fun summertime graphics as well oceans of possibilities summer reading could be good. Noticing a theme of lots of summer-related designs here. Vote wisely. Yeah, that could work as well. That's definitely a not-too-difficult design that you could create right there. Look straight ahead. Fight like a Ukrainian. That could, those two could also work as potential niches to look into. Hold my crown while I finish my chemo. That has fewer than a thousand competitive results and could be a good niche to go for. You could put a nice crown graphic on there. You could have a king's crown and you could also have a princess's tiara. So you could get two designs out of this niche right here. I love you in every universe. Uh, that could be a design to go for, but... It might be towing the line a little bit when it comes to copyright, since I'm assuming that's probably a reference to the new Doctor Strange movie that came out. So you have to be a little bit careful with that one. Silent but Dadly. Oh, that is hilarious. That I think that's a, a new dad pun or dad joke. Uh, and of course, Father's Day is coming up in what two, three, three to four weeks-ish here. So now would definitely be the right time to start creating and uploading your Father's Day designs. And that could be a very good pun to go for. Fewer than a thousand results, so you have a decent chance there. You are anything but ordinary. That's a pretty good little saying there. Could be good on a t-shirt. Might be a text-only design right there. To whom it may concern. Interesting. Certainly haven't seen that phrase on a t-shirt before, but perhaps after investigating the niche, it could prove worth the design time. 
vertical blue and white stripe. That is very specific, but would also be very easy to create. I am feral. Hmm. Okay. Don't know what kind of niche that would be in. It looks like we have some more uh, political niches right here. So you could check those out if you're interested in that. Those tend to sell pretty well for a semi-short period of time before petering out as the next new political saying or whatnot comes about. Goodbye school, hello summer. Yep, all of these uh, end of school, summertime designs would definitely be good to go for. That one has fewer than 2,000 designs, so it's getting a little bit competitive, but still totally possible. Queen's Platinum Jubilee, that's right. I did hear about that. I uh, I think there's probably copyright issues with that one, so maybe don't go for that specific niche. Queens are born in May. We've seen a similar tag to this before. Definitely a decent niche to go for, especially if you can cross niche that down to reduce the competitive results. But this is the kind of tag or niche that you can get a ton of designs out of this one idea here. You can swap out May for all the different months in the year, as well as queens for kings, princes, and princesses. And bam, there you go. You have tons and tons of designs just with this one idea here. Happy Nurses Day. That has a lot of competition. I would not recommend creating a design for this niche unless you can seriously cross niche that down with some other... A uh, hobby or item like coffee, books, uh, pets, I don't know, random things like that. And of course, at the very bottom, with the highest number of competitive results, we have funny dad jokes and Father's Day idea. So as you can see, customers are definitely already searching for Father's Day gifts to give. So if you have any ideas for Father's Day, maybe an original dad joke, a pun, anything your typical dad might like, then now would definitely be the time to create and upload that design. All right, I hope you were able to find maybe one or two niches in here that you might like to design for. I hope you definitely found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Alrighty, let's get designing. Mm -hmm.